When you think of Bhutan, golf generally isn't the first image that springs to mind. In fact, for most people, it's Bhutan's use of gross national happiness as a measure of the country's wealth, rather than the more traditional gross domestic product, that even makes it known. But there is in this tiny nation that relies on agriculture and the export of hydroelectricity for survival, somewhat of a golf culture. There might not be a Masters winner emerge from Bhutan anytime soon, but there's no doubt that the game is played there in the right spirit. For Tashendra Dorji and Deccan Yugian, golf has been a pretty important part of life. Both play at Bhutan's most highly regarded golf course, Royal Timpu in the nation's capital. But both found Royal Melbourne a vastly different experience to what they're used to at home. With 18 holes, its world-famous bunkering and huge slick greens, the team from Bhutan were always going to have their work cut out for them, but they enjoyed every minute of their time at Royal Melbourne. Day 10, it's a long way from Bhutan to Royal Melbourne, I imagine. How long did it take you to get here? 12 hours. 12 hours. Oh, yeah. that's, that's not too bad. Not too bad, yeah. Like, we don't have a direct flight from Bhutan to here, so oh. we travel from Bhutan to Singapore mm -hmm. and Singapore to here. And has it been a recent game to come to Bhutan? How long have they played golf in Bhutan for? I think it started in 1980s. In the 80s, so quite a while. So, indeed. You told me your father introduced you to the game? Yeah. yeah. And same for you, no. Tushita? No? How did you come to play? I learned myself. <laughs> Let's do it. we think of golf, we don't think of Bhutan, but you told me there's three golf courses in the capital. Yeah, it's all nine holes, mm -hmm. but one in the good condition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the distance is very short. And how have you found the course here at Royal Melbourne? A bit different to what you have in Bhutan, I imagine. The fairways is very different, like the grass is not the same, mm -hmm. and the green is really fast. And the, in, in Royal Melbourne golf course, we have got like, we have got like a lot of bunkers. And in Bhutan, we don't have much, and the sand is really different. Yeah, yeah everything's different. <laughs> yeah, and the green is really fast. Yeah, very fast. The only problem is the, with the green, I think. Now, Bhutan is known, of course, of the land of happiness, gross national happiness, not gross domestic product. Um, can you be happy and play golf at Royal Melbourne when you're putting downhill, or is that difficult? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, it all depends, like, yeah. I feel, when I was in, like, when I, Go to golf course, like I feel happy because like the golf course is really nice and I can see a lot of like good people around. Mm -hmm. So in Bhutan, like we don't have a audience, mm -hmm. but, like fans coming. Yeah, the rules are you have to play on five or less to make the team. How many golfers in Bhutan, apart from you two, could maybe qualify for the team to play here? We have like around 20. 20. Yeah. So it's fairly competitive. But they play for the uh, prizes like more than $750. Uh, so mm -hmm. they they can't go and represent the Bhutan for no. the amateur category. And in Bhutan, do you have any professionals for instruction or how does that work? No, we don't have coach. No. We try to help the members out there yeah. with the swing and all. 